Good morning, good people. How are y'all doing out there? Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the five books that I give to people um, that are fighting cancer uh, in my personal life. I always try to have these books on hand so that uh, anyone who I meet that's fighting cancer or any other type of uh, terminal disease uh, where faith uh, in God's word and uh, a better eating plan might be helpful for them, uh, I can have this available for them. And I encourage you to get these books for yourself to help increase your faith, as well as to start eating better in general um, for your better, your overall health uh, and fitness. Uh, and if you have these book, books available, you can provide them to others. Now, go ahead and subscribe, turn on that notification bell, check back every Sunday to see if I posted anything new. If I haven't posted anything new, go ahead and watch an old teaching so that you don't allow anything that you've learned to slip. Now, whenever you know I meet someone that is uh, fighting cancer, fighting any terminal disease, any serious disease, definitely the most important thing for them to have is this book right here, uh, the Bible. Now, the Bible has well over a hundred healing scriptures in it. As we continue to read those healing scriptures, our faith uh, gets built up more and more and more. Um, and it's been my experience that uh, when faith is significantly built up in a person, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, that uh, they their, their spirit will push out whatever the disease is or will cause to manifest, you know, new limbs, new organs, whatever the issue um, is. Um, now, the not my favorite, but the most important scripture in the Bible is going to be Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10. I like the way the NASB brings it out, the New American Standard Bible. It makes it very simple that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. So we have to believe that Jesus is our Lord, okay? So we have to believe, when we say Lord, we're talking about that he's the person that we obey and that he is God, capital G-O-D. A lot of people, even of other religions, they they accept or they mentally accept, uh, assent that Jesus existed, but Jesus is not their Lord, meaning the person they obey. And Jesus is not the person that um, they consider to be God or that they believe in their heart is God. All right. So why do I give the Bible to people who are faced or who are fighting cancer um, or a terminal condition? Well, because whether, you know, whether a person uses um, conventional medicine or where they, where they use uh, nutrition. If a person is not able to build up their faith until their body can, their body and their spirit can work in tandem and defeat whatever disease. And unfortunately they are, they, you know, they're not going to survive. And so we have to make sure that our eternal salvation is secure. And the way to do that is by accepting Jesus Christ. So that after this life, uh, we go to heaven. Okay. So we're believing that they get healed. Um, we believe we're believing that, um, the doctors are actually able to assist them. We're believing that they eat better. We're believing that they have better, uh, practices as far as, uh, health practices. However, the most important thing, uh, is making sure that uh, we have our entry into heaven secure after this life. All right, next book that I definitely give people um, is this one here. Um, this is a very important book to have, God's Prescription for Divine Health. So this book um, talks about uh, the um, theological, scriptural, philosophical uh, 
um, way to use faith as a tool to get your healing. It goes through the biblical instructions on how to use your faith, okay? Very, very important. It has lots of healing scriptures in it as well for you to read on a daily basis. Gloria Copeland's God's Prescription for Divine Health. God's Prescription for Divine Health, okay? Now, while Gloria Copeland is... She has healing school. She is writing about healing. She's giving us a philosophical or the um, uh, the theological scriptural um, plan or, or way to get healed. We have Dodie Osteen here who was healed of cancer. I uh, did a, um, a review on this book as well. Dodie Osteen, Healed of Cancer. This is the old uh, version. And this is one of the old versions. There's been several versions. This is the brand new version uh, as far as the book cover is concerned. All right. So um, now she actually was healed of cancer. It goes through what she did, the actual uh, practice and, uh, do, you know, going through and doing um, or, or manifesting or healing. And then she also... Uh, she lays hands on people and, and works with people directly on a regular basis um, at at her church at uh, Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. So we have Gloria Copeland going over the scriptural theological basis for healing. And then we have Dodie Osteen, who uh, more hands on practices, um, practices healing in Jesus name. That's not to say that Gloria Copeland does not actually do the practice part of it. And it's not to say that Dodie Osteen does not, you know, go over the scriptural or theological basis. I'm just saying that's what they're, um, they're focused on. For instance, uh, brother Kenneth, uh, E Hagen, uh, senior, he was doing the teaching, the scriptural theological basis for using faith as healing um, back, you know, in the um, 60s, 70s, that 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 time period, um, 50s, 60s and 70s, I would say. And he he uh, basically preached healing his entire life. And then you had um, Oral Roberts, who was having the tent meetings um, and actually going out, laying hands on people. Um, and doing the practice of healing through uh, Jesus name. So those those two groups are kind of similar in that case. And that's not to say that Oral Roberts didn't teach or that uh, Kenneth e. Hagen didn't lay hands, but I'm saying that their focus was in general. So those two books are very, very important. Now, Charles Capps, God's Creative Power for Healing. Very important. So he's going to tell you, he's going to have you start speaking out, um, activating your faith by speaking uh, what God's word says. Uh, and he has several declarations in there. He goes through um, the the biblical reasoning for that. It's a very, very important book for for not just knowing it. Not just believing it, but now we've got to start saying it. Very, very important. And of course, Chris B. Cancer. So this is going to be more Chris B. Cancer by Chris Warwick, a comprehensive plan for healing naturally. He does talk about his faith, but this is more on the part of the biblical eating plan. And I'm not to, I'm not saying that it's 100% accurate. I mean, yeah. Um, no matter what you decide as far as your your treatment plan i can't tell you what to uh what to do with your treatment plan i'm not a doctor um what i'm saying is you need to go for certain to the great physician jesus christ and ask him uh what you need to eat now chris b cancer is going to have lots of information in there um about uh what he did the the biblical eating plan or eating the things that the bible teaches us to eat that helped him get rid of cancer. Um, he also talks about his decision whether or not to have surgery, his decision whether or not to have chemo, a lot of the different things that goes into it. And, and again, this book is not telling you what to do. It is not advice. It's telling you what he did and how he overcame um, cancer uh, in his life. It's very, very important. I recommend, again, that... 
you get all of these books for yourself and then so that you also have these books available to give to others that you meet in real life. So I do have links down in the description for you to be able to buy these books um, individually. And then also, if you want to help uh, support How to Be Healed TV and uh, use our click on our wish list and order these books to be delivered um, to myself, that way that I'll have them available when people um, when I meet people who are fighting these different uh, well, fighting cancer and then um, any other type of terminal disease. And of course, I do want to thank all of my uh, hero helpers who are liking everything, watching the videos um, and sharing is so very important. Thank you for helping grow the, the channel um, that way. Um, let's see here. Okay. So again, I'm far from perfect. I'm still learning. But God is good. We're living in marvelous times and something good is going to happen to you today. Um, for those of you who have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, have you been filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues? If so, when's the last time you've been refilled? Well, that's too long. This information is provided as a informational, for informational purposes. Always consult your doctor or healthcare professional before changing your diet or making any other changes. I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. This is not financial advice. This is not intended as a replacement for professional care. By accessing this information, you release me and everyone else other than yourself from all liability and assume all risks. We must come to the conclusion that God is smarter than we are. If something isn't working, ask God what the solution is. He knows.